Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 72 of the Battleship Brawls Season 3 Tournament. In this episode, it would normally be a, a uh, new challenger day today, but the field is full, so we're going with a league battle instead between the Hindenburg by Averdol Flinkler and the Humpback by Hikari. Uh, the Hindenburg is in danger of being retired here if it loses this match, so let's go ahead and get it underway and see whether it gets to continue on or if it's... Uh, going to be a three and done vessel. You know the humpback has some pretty serious firepower. Big holes getting blown. Oh, and that chain reaction on the inside once more. Just <laughs> the Hindenburg is just it's going up like the Hindenburg. I mean, if that's the effect you were trying to replicate, you uh, you did well, because this thing likes to explode. Yep, there it goes again. More ammo detonations on the inside. It's basically over. The Hindenburg has like a functional gun left. Yep, and oh, actually, it's despawning from uh, two damaged. I missed that. So yeah, that's it. The Hindenburg is retired. Uh, congratulations, Akari. One step closer to that Hall of Champions. Getting really close. I think one more victory will guarantee you a spot by uh, Endurance, if nothing else. But yeah, so I'm going to do a quick cut here, and then we'll take a look at the Hindenburg for the uh, Hall of Beauty voting. All right, so here we are. This is the Hindenburg by Averdahl Flinkler, and you can see right off the bat, part of the reason why this thing is uh, very slow is because of these... Uh, I mean, it's they are four meters slope, so they're not causing a whole lot of drag, but this is a very wide vessel. Very, very wide. So that, that is definitely hurting, and I don't think it has many propellers either. It actually has quite a few. But yeah, that, that being wide is not helping it with speed. And it doesn't have any superstructure really that to protect the guns. It actually, it looks like... It looks like... Oh yeah, this is... I want to... Yep, this is a tactical hat. <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, that is a little uh, protective thing for the gun. It didn't seem to do the Hindenburg very, very much, though. Probably, I'm guessing, because it's only one meter of metal thick. So most cram shells will destroy the metal just with their kinetic damage on impact. Or the explosive damage will quickly destroy it, and then it just can just go straight down through and blow the crap out of everything. Well, this one has two meters of metal, but still, that's uh, that's not going to hold up very well to any sort of high explosive. And the Hindenburg went up against a lot of high explosives, so... Anyway... Uh, I like all of the slopes and how uh, fluid this thing looks, but it is lacking in a superstructure. Um, and it is kind of mostly just a big flat platform, big wide flat platform, which... Uh, is probably part of the reason why it took such a heavy beating because the um, it came up against a lot of high explosive that were you know plunging fire shots hit this deck armor and just blew it to bits and oh look at yeah and here's the ammo the ammo it literally has a ring of ammo around the turret here do, do all the guns have that that um Unless you were, unless you actually were trying to go for the Hindenburg effect. Oh, steam engine, cool. Uh, I don't think that was the best idea. So it greatly increased the number of blocks that were capable of destroying your weapons. 
if they took a hit. So yeah, this is the uh, Hindenburg. You know the drill down in the comments, I'll post a comment about inducting it or not inducting it. I'll vote the one that you agree with. And uh, if it gets 90% yeses, it'll go into the Hall of Beauty. If not, well, sorry. Well, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.